Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Today I'm going to be walking you through one of my favorite features of the Garmin Instinct watch. This is viewing sunrise and sunset data and how to display it on your watch. So if you've watched my videos before, I like to always start by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar Non-Tactical Watch. Uh, this video should work no matter which version of the Garmin Instinct watch you have, whether it's solar or not solar, tactical or not tactical. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So when you press the buttons, they're working exactly as you get the watch from Garmin. So uh, as you, if you've watched my videos before, there's usually two different ways you can display data. And Sunrise and Sunset is really no different than that. One of the ways is you can add it as a data element on your watch face. Now there's a little bit of trickiness with this and I'm gonna try and walk you through it. And I'm gonna try and be as brief and uh, not get too detailed with it. Uh, I'm gonna show you that first. The second way you can view it is you can add it as a widget. And as with other widgets, the widget's gonna give you more detail than having it as a data element on your watch face. So uh, first things first, any of the watch faces will let you see the sunrise and sunset data, but they kind of go about displaying them a little bit differently. I'm gonna walk you through it right now. This isn't a good watch face to start with because this one actually is the watch face I would recommend if you're wanting to see sunrise and sunset data. And in a second, I'll show you why. I'm gonna switch to a different one. We do that by pressing and holding the menu button, select watch face, and we go to a different one. I'm gonna go through this really quick. If you've never uh, used your Garmin Instinct or you need some basic information about changing your watch face or data elements, I've got some other videos out there that are a little bit slower than this is gonna be. So let's just choose, let's choose this watch face for example. I choose it by selecting GPS and I'm gonna do customize. You'll notice the data element screen starts changing here and I'm gonna just use the down button to go through and look for the sunrise and sunset data element. There it is. It's a little icon. This is showing the sun, and you can see that there's a little down arrow above it. Now, the reason there's a down arrow, you might be wondering, well, that's great, there's the sunset time. When is the sunrise time? This icon is a toggle icon, which basically means a minute after sunset tonight, currently it's 12.50 p.m. So the next event that's gonna occur for me is gonna be sunset. That's gonna be at 5.37 p.m. tonight. At 5.38 p.m., once it's a minute past sunset, then it'll show me sunrise because that'll be the next event available for me to see. So I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and select GPS. There's another data element, I'm gonna leave that one alone. There's another one, I'm gonna leave that alone. And there's another one, I'm gonna leave that alone. So we've successfully added sunrise and sunset to our watch face as a data element. But again, you're never gonna see them both at the same time. You're only gonna see whatever is the next occurrence that's gonna occur for you. So that's why I don't recommend this watch face uh, for sunrise and sunset information. Instead, I would recommend one of the other ones. So I'm gonna switch by holding the GPS, the menu button, and I'm gonna select watch face. I would recommend this one or this one. And the reason is, as you'll notice on this screen, there's just one data element here, but it's because I've got the other one blank. This is a two data element screen, and these two screens are the only two screens that you can see both sunrise and sunset information at the same time. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna do customize. This data element's fine. This data element's fine. The key is, is down here, you've got two data elements. The first one, you wanna choose the same icon that we just looked at in the last watch face. So I'm gonna arrow down until I see that one. And there it is. Now I've got sunrise sunset right here. If I press GPS to go to the next one, you've gotta be kind of careful with it because you'll see the same icon here. You don't want that if you keep scrolling through your options. Ah, now we see a different icon. This is just showing a sun and there's no up or down arrow above it. If we choose that, now we can successfully see my sunrise time for today was 7.20 in the morning. My sunset time for today is 5.37 in the afternoon. If I press GPS, I've saved it. And now we've successfully added both sunrise and sunset to our watch face as a data element. 
So unfortunately, these, this screen and the other one that I showed you are the only two that you can see both the sunrise and sunset at the same time. So if you're wanting to see that, you need to use one of those watch faces. If, you, if you're okay with the toggle one, then again, you can use any of the other watch faces. They have it as an option. So again, that's what the toggle one's gonna look like. And again, it works fine. You just won't be able to see both of them at the same time. So that's the first thing. That's how you see it as a data element on your watch face. Now, let's go into the other way you can view sunrise and sunset information, and that's by using the sunrise and sunset widget. So just like any other widget, we're gonna press and hold the menu button. We're gonna arrow down to settings, and we're gonna arrow down to widgets. And you'll wanna look through your list. I currently do not have it set as a widget. You might already have it set. But if not, if you go to the very bottom, you can do add widget. And then if you go towards the bottom, you should see sunrise and sunset. There it is. Select GPS. Now we've added that widget. Now we can press our back button to get back to our home screen. And just like any other widget, we can press the up or down menu to see our widgets. Because it's the last one we added, if we press up, that'll take us to our most recent widget. And there's the sunrise and sunset data widget for the Garmin Instinct. As with other widgets, the widget is gonna have more information than the data element. So you'll notice with the widget, I can see today's date. I can see the position of the sun over the horizon currently. Again, it's almost one o'clock, so it's just uh, past midday. Sunrise time, sunset time. I can also see twilight time for the morning and for the evening. The other thing I can do is while I'm on this widget, if I press the GPS button, I can adjust and go to different days of the week. So if I wanted to go back to January 1st and see what the sunrise and sunset and twilight times were, I can. Or maybe I'm going deer hunting or gonna go stargazing or something like that in the future. I can go to any date in the future and see what the sunrise and sunset data is for that date. So I hope that makes sense. It's not that complicated, but uh, as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to um, ask them. One thing I'll say is once you're done with the widget, if you press the set button, you can get back to your uh, main screen. There's also an alert you can set up for sunrise and sunset information if you wanna be alerted at certain times before sunrise and sunset. I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but I've already done a video for that. I'll link it to this video in case you're interested in watching that as well. Thanks as always, have a good day.